Okay, I am so excited to share with you guys how I feel about Magic, Magic Gel System. They are from Canada. Um, these are their Builder in a Bottle. So I've been using Light Rose and let me tell you, I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys on my hands how to use it. So I've already got some. This is my old set here. I took it off. I filed, um, I prepped my nail already. I filed off the, the polish and all that stuff. Prepped my nail. So um, we are ready to go. But yeah, so this is the light rose and they come in, let me see, we got a soft nude and there's the comparison for that. Um, the next one will be a neutral rose. Let me see if you guys can see this. So the neutral rose and the light rose, you could tell. Here's neutral rose, here's light rose. And this is soft nude. So you can see the difference. Um, there's also a beige which there's no pink in that. Um, then you get your tackless shine. And then your silicone thin base. Oh, that's another bottle, that's an extra bottle. And then it also came with um, an iceberg white gel polish, uh, which I think is new for them. I'm not sure, to be honest, but um, it came with it as well so I tried this out with a sample kit so ugh, I'm making a mess their little sample kit that I got it was a free sample kit so I don't think they're doing it anymore but their little free sample kit came with four tiny little bottles and they look like this four tiny little bottles and I absolutely loved it The other one I tossed because it was empty. It was just the uh, soft pink that I was using. Um, so then I, after I loved it, of course I had to buy the bigger bottles, right? Of course. So I want to show you guys why I love it. So let me clear this out of the way and we're going to use um, the light rose. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna keep playing with my settings here because it's driving me crazy. Let me see if I can focus this more so you guys can see. So obviously, old set, gonna be a new set. I still have some product on, as you can see. So I just need to do pretty much a fill. And all I'm gonna do is just do the whole thing as if I was doing a full set. And the, it self levels so beautifully. Okay, so here we go. So it's already been cleansed, it's already been prepped and everything. So you're gonna take your silicone base. Now I'm using the little bottle because I still have a full bottle. It lasts forever. And, but it does come with a, a, bigger, a bigger bottle in the kit. And they have several different kits you could choose from. So we're gonna go ahead, apply this to all five on my hand. You would do all, if you're doing yourself, all five. If you're doing a client, all 10. So let's go ahead, and it's gonna be thin coats. Make sure it's thin coats. And you're just gonna place it towards the cuticle without touching and pull it out. I go over the entire nail. Make sure you get the whole thing, the sides. Make sure there's no little dips in there. Okay. Make sure you guys can see. And this product goes on thin. Do not put it on thick. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to do all five of that. All right, so all five are done. We're going to throw it in the LED light real quick. That's what it looks like with the silicone thin base. Let's cure it real quick. Okay, we're done curing that. And on these little bottles, it will tell you how long to cure them for. You got two minutes in a UV, 60 seconds in a LED, which I think is awesome. So now, after that is cured, we're gonna take our light rose nail guard, pretty much builder in a bottle, and we're going to do our nails, and it self-levels really nice. Now, if this runs into your sidewalls, you put way too much on. Okay, let's bring it over here. So this is what it looks like. Just wipe a little bit off. You see, focus. And I dab it and I push it back towards the cuticles without touching. And then I pull it down. Sides, center, that's it. Let's see if you guys can see that. And then it's going to self level. Let's try another one. I dab the product right there. Push it back towards the cuticle without touching. Then brush it forward towards the free edge. Now if you need more in the back, simply take your brush touch back there. And you can see it and you want to spread it. Just gently drag it where you need it. And gently pull it out. Stroke it out. There you go. Beautiful. I wish this would stay focused. I don't know how to use this. It's the new... I don't know what's better. It's the new... Um, Ultra 20, and I ain't figured out how to use this thing yet. There, and then wipe off. If you get any on the sides, wipe it off right away, of course. I just want to go back in. I want to grab a little bit more for the back right here. Wipe off anything. There we go. So let's see. So this is where we're at so far. I haven't done the pinky yet. This is what it looks like. This is just awful focus, ain't it? Mm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, let's do the pinky. Now, I usually do my thumb last. I cure these four first, and then I do my thumb. So then clean up your side walls. Oh my gosh, I just cannot stand. I don't know if it's the daylight that's coming in or what that is messing with it. I don't know. 
Okay, so again, 60 seconds in the LED. LED. Now, as you can see, nothing ran while I did these four. If it runs into your sidewalls, you put too much on. And they make your nails nice and strong. These are soak offs, by the way. Okay, I went ahead and did my thumb off camera, but as you can see, I did not file or anything. And I'm going to show you, like, okay, my thumb is a little wonky. Let's not judge that. <laughs> You can see my nail is, is definitely not curved right. This side tapers in for whatever reason. Um, but yes, you can see I don't have to file. Like, I'm completely done. I could top coat this and be on my way. It's a neutral. It's sheer. It's classy. Elegant. Simple. Of course I need some cuticle oil, but yeah, you could put a clear coat on this, some cuticle oil, and be on your way. And you'll be done. I'm going to polish these. Um, again, we used Light Rose. This is Magic Gel System. They are out of Canada. Now, I have not had any issues with shipping from Canada, which is good. You can see this hand. Whew. And you can see, like, there's absolutely, like, no lifting. Let me use my other thing here. There's no lifting or anything. That's just all cuticle right there. Yeah, that's all cuticle that needs to go. But this is what it looks like all grown out. This hand's always a mess because this is my this is my dominant hand, so I'm always doing my my non-dominant hand. So this is where we're at. So yeah, if you have tried this, uh let me know what you think. If you haven't, I think you should try it. Um, their customer service has been awfully nice. I have never had any issues with getting a refund for whatever reason. Um, when their products are on back order, you can simply ask for a refund through a chat that they have on their website, which is great because you don't have to call anybody. And um, Or you can simply wait for them for it to come in. They told me the last time I ordered a brush from them, and uh, they said it was going to be about two weeks before they get their brushes in. So I just waited since I was going to place an order for these anyway. And they sent me the brush with my package. So that was great. Um, so yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are on these products. And they've got all different shades. So if you have clients that need to stay neutral... Anybody in the healthcare system, assistants, secretaries, anybody like that that can't have their nails done all the time, they need something simple, low key, these are your go to's. It'll take less than an hour, probably. Yeah, let me know what you think. See you in the next video.